When the Arizona Cardinals play the Cleveland Browns, they're going to beat them. I've got the Cardinals being the Browns 24 to 17. It's going to be a very close game, but in the end, the Cardinals will find a way to win. They're probably going to score a touchdown late in the fourth quarter, which will give them the lead for good. Kyler Murray will have a great game against the Cleveland Browns defense. He's going to throw for over 300 yards. He probably have three touchdowns. And he's going to rush the ball for 100 yards. So he's going to look like Lamar Jackson out there when they play on Sunday. The Cleveland Browns defense will not have an answer for him. As we know, Miles Garrett from the Browns has been suspended indefinitely by the NFL for that helmet shot he took against Mason Rudolph. So he's not playing on Sunday. He, as we know, was a key defender for the Browns. So with him being out, I don't see the Browns being able to put enough pressure on Kyler Murray to disrupt him. So without that dominant passer, Miles Garrett playing on Sunday, the Arizona Cardinals will have a whole lot easier time throwing that football. And we know that Kyler Murray is a great passer. He can also rush the ball too. If I'm not mistaken, he is the leading rusher for the Arizona Cardinals. So not only will he throw the ball against the Browns defense, but he'll run the ball too. And he's going to run wild all over that Browns defense. They will not have an answer for his arm or his feet. Now, the Cardinals defense is taking a little bit of a hit here. They released Terrell Suggs, so T. Zizzle is no longer with the team. I'm not sure what happened there. But they still have Chandler Jones, and I believe he'll be a disruptive force against Baker Mayfield. So he'll probably have two or three sacks against Baker Mayfield because the Browns offensive line will not have an answer for him. So Patrick Peterson will shut down OBJ. So Adele Beckham Jr. will probably have another one of those games. He'll probably have three catches for maybe 30 yards, and that's it. So Patrick Peterson will shut him down. Chandler Jones will have a few sacks on Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield will be frustrated. And that's what's going to happen. Now, as we know, the Browns offense is good enough to score points. So they'll make things difficult for the Cardinals. But in the end, the Cardinals will beat them. And they will be 4-9-1 when the game is over. Kyler Murray is playing very well. His confidence is building game by game. He's getting more accurate. He's getting more confident. His swagger is increasing, which is good. This is a great sign. He's been playing very well with the Cardinals, despite not having talent offensively. They don't have an OBJ on their team. They don't have a Julio Jones. They don't have an Ezekiel Elliott. They don't have a dominant offensive line like the Dallas Cowboys. But despite all of these problems, Kyler Murray is still playing well. I'm very proud of him. He will play very well on Sunday. He'll have a great game. Like I said, after this game, the Cardinals will be 4-9-1. And, and the future looks bright for this team. So they're going to beat the Browns. They're going to continue winning. And they will be a dominant force in the NFC West in the future. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. Because by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you definitely should do that if you haven't done so already. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.